Santa Monica is a vibrant, dynamic city that depends heavily on the beauty of its pristine beaches, its international cuisine, and its iconic landmarks like the Santa Monica Pier. But it depends most on its people. People from all walks of life make up the fabric of the city by the sea. And the leadership of the city is dependent on many people who, like its residents, come from all walks of life. A new chapter in the city's leadership is about to begin. Tony Vasquez, a son of immigrant parents, will now take the helm as mayor and move the city to its bright future. He will become the first Latino mayor of Santa Monica since its incorporation in 1886. Vasquez, a family man, knows how important it is to be a good role model, especially for young students just starting out on their journeys. In this interview with Jacqueline Cacho, host of Triunfo Latino, he details how he hopes to inspire young students. Being the first Latino mayor in Santa Monica, California since 1886, what will be the first message for our community? Well, I think the key thing I'm hoping, especially for the young that's, you know, that's going through the ranks in the city of Santa Monica and in our school system, is that they could see now a role model for them. Because growing up myself, I never really had one going through all my public, because I went through public schools, I never really had a Latino instructor, whether it was a teacher or even a counselor. Most of the folks I did see in the institutions where they were the ones that were working in the kitchen or they were doing, they were the janitorial services. And now here I'm hoping with the Latinos that are in the school system and are working in the city are now going to be able to see Avascas is now a mayor of the city of Santa Monica. You know, when I've been asked in the past to go speak to students, especially at the high school level, they're always asking me, you know, what, you know, they're, when they're looking and they're thinking about their careers, I always tell them to follow your passion, whatever your passion is. And in my case, it's always been, I always felt that I needed somebody to look up to as a young Latino growing up on the West Side. And here is an opportunity for hopefully the new generation to look at a role model for them and to expire to, to be whatever they want to be. Not that they have to be politicians, but if they want to be doctors, lawyers, plumbers, whatever their skill is. I always tell people, whatever it is, if that's the passion you have, go for it. And if that's your passion, you're going to be the best. Vasquez credits his long political career to the community involvement in organizing he first experienced at Santa Monica College. It led him to understand the value of education and was the catalyst to continue his education at USC. And Tony, how do you feel about education? We all know that that has been your passion and a key of your success. You know, for me, education, I think, is the key to success because you can do all these great things in your employment world. You can do all these great things in, in your own personal life. But one thing that I've realized is that education I think is the key to success, especially for Latinos, because many of us have so many obstacles to overcome, but I think education is the one that can equalize it. He continued organizing and being involved in many communities in Southern California. He realized the impact of entering the political world. This led to local and national recognition, invitations to prestigious political conventions, and the swearing-in ceremony for the President of the United States. We all know that to make a difference in the world, we all have to have mentors, heroes in our life. Who has been that mentor, that hero that has pushed the right button in your life to give you this hope, this faith that you can accomplish your goals? For me, I'd have to say it was uh, Congressman Ed Roybal. Uh, Ed Roybal was like one of the leaders for me in my era, especially when I was going to USC at the university level. He, you know, as I looked into his history, here was the first Latino, I believe he was the first Latino ever elected in the city of LA. He first started on the LA City Council, then he moved into Congress, and I understand he actually made a run back in the day for the Board of Supervisors, where I understand he actually won, but in the recount, somehow he lost by a few votes. There's an old saying in Spanish, dime con quien andas y te diré quien eres. Loosely translated, it means you will be judged by the people who surround you. For Vasquez, surrounding himself with fighters, activists, movers and shakers is one of the keys to his many victories. But the most important key is to continue growing his own family and being a true role model for so many. We know that your parents are immigrants and then your childhood hasn't been easy. And um, you guys, you know, you and your brothers and sisters were the first ones to graduate in your family. That's an interesting story because here I, you have my dad who was literally illiterate. He passed away back in 
78. He actually got to see me graduate from USC before he passed away, but he was illiterate. My mom went to maybe third, fourth grade education in Mexico, but they both came here to the US and they stressed education, especially my dad, because he was just a hard laborer all his life. And he used to tell us, matter of fact, he used to take us out to a lot of the job sites to show us that if you didn't get a good education, you'd be stuck in some of these trenches digging holes. And so he always stressed education. And actually at one point, we actually had four of us at USC at the same time. Today, Santa Monica is blessed with a new leader. Please welcome Santa Monica Mayor, Tony Vasquez.